Hey guys, I'm Ben with Upcountry Electric. I've got a special treat for you today. We're doing some residential work. The customer today is my wife. She's had a honey-do list for me for a while now. She wants me to add a receptacle onto a landing by our stairs. Coincidentally, the guys at Wallabot sent me their DIY2 wall scanner. It's a stud finder and wall scanner. So yeah, should be fun, should be pretty easy, and uh, anything that makes my wife happy is always a successful day, so. Okay, so here we are on the stairs. Problem we have is we like to put our air purifier here on the landing as you come up the stairs. And then up here, we have an outlet available to us on this side. And so what we're doing is a very big faux pas we are running an extension cord, oh no, running an extension cord out and around to the landing. So what I want to do is I want to use the Wallabot and all my big electrician brains to find out exactly where that box is and cut in a box on this side nearby in the same stud void so that I can fish a cable between the two boxes and add a receptacle to the same circuit that this outlet is on. Is that it? It hasn't turned to zero. It still says 120? 120.8. Oh, it's at zero. Is it back at 120? It's at 121 now. Now it says zero? Yeah. Okay. Thank you. All right, so you check that the power is on. We've got a receptacle out of the wall. Basically, I can essentially guarantee that there's a stud right here because we have two single gang boxes, but we're gonna scan anyway. Um, and we're gonna do most of that scanning from the other side because I wanna put the new receptacle about right here. Okay, so we got our smartphone. We got the Wallabot DIY2. And just power it up, hold down the power button, and then just put it with the phone. Fire up the app, reconnecting, and it doesn't need to be connected to, to pair, it can be remote. In fact, I'll show you here, I kind of like it on my leg or sat down, but both ways seem nice. So the first step is to calibrate it. For this, I'm going to put it right here on my leg. And here's the unit, and they're just connected with Wi-Fi. So we go put it on the wall and start calibration. And you just move it in a circle until the screen says calibration complete. Calibration complete. Perfect. And we can start scanning. So we're just going to move it very slowly. It's pretty high sensitivity right now. And I, I kind of like it like this with the screen remote. It's found a wooden stud and it's saying right there is the center of the wooden stud, it says. So we'll give ourselves a little mark, boop, this little shadow mark. And then we'll continue on. Picking up something there. And then possibly a pipe and wire, it says. In that area. So now what I want to see, that's cool that that's that stud. We know that our boxes, the center of our box is, is here. Here's our box center and here's where we just saw the stud and that looks pretty good. So let's come, whoops, let's come up higher. We know the top of our box is at this height, somewhere in this region. So let's see what the Wallabot shows us in this region. I'm just going to put the phone on there just to make it really clear. So we're going to move along. And that, I think, is the edge of our electrical box. Yep, it's saying there's our stud. Cool. Let's put another little stud mark there. And then I think that that is our data box. 
Let's turn down that sensitivity even more. And then the power box should look a little strange because it's really just a plastic box with a wire coming into it. So I'm going to turn up the sensitivity and because I want to put this new receptacle right about here. And I'm going to turn that sensitivity up even more right about there. And this is where I'm going to be putting it. And I just want to make sure there's no wires here. I've got something possible pipe or wire. That's interesting. could be a wire right there. Okay, that's good to know. I know that here's the top of my box and here's the center of my box. And I do have a wire coming into there. I think over here is going to be the winner for the location. I'm not seeing any stud. Here's the next stud right there. So we've got this whole area here. I'm just going to give myself a rough little X marks the spot. And then let's just go back and mark where it thought that wire was. It thinks it thinks there could be a wire right in this area. But I think what it's picking up on is the actual box, because right here on the other side of the wall is that receptacle, right under that. If we come up and move over, that's that plastic box. And there's our stud that the box is nailed to. And then I think we can go ahead and cut a hole in the wall and look in there and see uh, what's inside and get our box mounted. There's our little guy. So there's our hole, ready to go, nice and clean. Looks great in there, nothing hiding, nothing showing. And uh, yeah, should be able to put in our cut-in box. First, we gotta fish some wire between our other receptacle and this one. Now we can turn the power back on and plug everything back in, make sure everything's working, and we should be all set. That was pretty easy. Well, after using the uh, Wallabot DIY 2, I really like it. Uh, it's really easy to set up on my phone, and it's really intuitive when I'm scanning on the wall. Definitely any time I'm going to be doing any residential work in the future, or any of our crews are going to be doing any residential work, I'll definitely be sending them with this thing. The uh, magnet kit that it comes with attaches really easy to the back of my phone. And I like this little case. It's definitely slick and easy. Nice, simple, hard case. Pack it up and can go in any tool bag ready to go. Um, just being able to know exactly what is behind drywall before I have to cut in and make a big mess will save a lot of time and money and hassle with customers. And just being able to accurately uh, hit studs every time makes this worthwhile. This is a premium bundle. It runs just over 200 bucks on Amazon. Um, I'd say it's about worth it. Being able to accurately scan the inside of a wall and not have to make more than one hole or have to come back later and have a drywaller patch any mistakes or uh, which would be even worse is hitting wire or pipes or anything behind the wall. The amount of added cost and time that that adds to a job when we would make a mistake like that the cost of this tool easily covers that, just to have that assurance that we're not uh, going to hit anything or make any big mistakes. Um, yeah, I like the app. I like the display. I like how compact and small it is. And uh, yeah, I like it. I think it's pretty good. Um, definitely going to be in my bag every time I go on a residential trouble call or uh, residential work where there's concealed wiring or concealed work. can definitely see a use for it as an electrician in my bag.
again, all in all, pretty simple tool. Again, it kind of just shows how, um, you know, any tool is going to require a learning curve. And this one definitely has a little bit of a learning curve. And then also you've got to be able to put on a detective hat and use your brain and kind of think things through and plan. Uh, the tool isn't going to necessarily um, do the work for you. So you're going to have to think and, um, you know, look around and use everything at your disposal to, to figure out where things might be concealed in a wall. And then um, using, you know, your brain and detective skills in conjunction with the tool, you'll definitely have a really high chance of success. So that way we can be really accurate on our residential calls, make sure everything goes really good the first time. All right, guys, that was fun. <laughs> See you on the next one.